a little trail ride and uh, thought I'd talk a little bit about trail riding while I'm trail riding. Uh, last time we talked about this was comparing arena riding with trail riding and uh, why you might want to do both. Um, how each benefits the other, you know, and the pros and cons of each sort of deal. I'll link that below for this video. But right now we're just out on a trail and um, this horse is a little bit young for trails. He's only been on maybe five or six. And uh, so we're just out in a really nice park, Alco Park, local here in Maple Ridge, BC. And um, the trails here is a good, a good place to start for a, a young to trails horse because their trails are wide, they're open, it's, it's pretty bright. Uh, there's lots of options as you can see we could have gone that way uh, we're going this way right now and uh, there's some corrals and stuff and he's been here once before that's it so i'm letting him sort of explore a little bit on his own but at the same time uh, I'm, I'm sort of steering him where i want him to go uh, but at the same time i'm letting him sort of weave around and you'll know that a horse is a little bit young for trails when they weave around and looking everywhere and and, uh, and they're not just kind of going in a straight line along the trail. Uh, they're, they're sort of meandering around like this. And if you have the time for it, I actually don't see anything wrong with sort of letting a horse explore. Uh, you'll be able to see where they're good to go to and where they're not so good to go to. Uh, they might veer away from something like uh, he's got a problem with garbage cans. Um, and it's something you'd be able to address because you'd be letting him do his own thing. Um, so yeah, so trail riding definitely, everything that you learn or practice in the arena gets applied uh, when you're on the trail. So if I needed to make a turn, I'm just going to do my very basic, put my hand out and put my foot on and, and he should know that. And we should come around in a decent circle and then travel back up the same trail because I actually didn't want him to turn around, but I've let him um, because he's He's a little nervous. He's, we're here alone, just the two of us. He doesn't have a horsey buddy with him. Um, today it's pretty quiet. There's not a lot of people, but there was a big crowd of kids that we had to pass. And one of them was on a drum of some sort, making noise, or maybe that's how they called the kids over, and it worked really well. So they were kind of quiet when we passed, so that was nice. But they're getting a little lively now, and he can hear it. Um, but we're gonna just continue on on this, this quiet spot. Now we've come to the exact same spot and he's looking to turn around again. So this time, even though I let him explore, I'm actually gonna say no, and we'll continue on the way that I'm hoping he'll go. And we'll make a little bit further than the last time that we made. And sometimes you gotta do a little bit backwards and get a little bit forward and, uh, or you know, forward along the trail that you wanna be on to get anywhere otherwise they just stay worried thinking that they'll never be able to go back home so ah, it's a nice trail today nice beautiful day lots of sun it's warm it's green this is the kind of kind of parks we have here in maple ridge just tons of this stuff and uh, so we're just going to practice a lot um, going along these nice wide trails and every once in a while we'll come across some smaller trails that i'll get him to start using his brain on for stepping because here there's nothing there's just nothing on the trail we don't have any logs we don't have any rocks we don't have any branches uh no holes in the ground nothing they're just very well groomed uh trails on a side note these little corrals uh are brand new and uh just recently done by uh, the groups around here that do these kinds of things and maintain these parks and and the horse trails and stuff and uh, I was part of helping take them out but um, another great bunch of people put them back in and, and he's got these great gates and, and nice sturdy there's another one a uh, little crowds to put your horse if you want to sort of take a break you know hop off and have lunch or something like that it's a great little park to come to so now we've come back a little ways and I'm just gonna ask him again I'm gonna come to one side Turn around and we're going to go forward. Now he's still thinking of going home. It's a little bit hard to do with a camera in hand. I'm just going to ask him to keep going the way that I want to go so we can make at least one circuit. Oh. 
Well, that was weird. Sorry about that. Uh, but we can make at least one circuit of this place uh, without him feeling the need to turn around and, and try to head back to where he thinks home might be. Uh, so that's what we're up to. Okay, quick update. I don't know why, but Benny decided to take me to the correctional facility, which is a couple of kilometers up from Malco. Even though we walked right by the trailer, I thought he wanted to go home. He didn't. Now he's thinking about what he wants to do now. Okay, well, we're trotting back. Go oh, almost a canner. Just keep it at a trot. And now, Try not to trot on the road, especially with shoes on. Come off the road a little here. It's hard for it's hard for horses to uh, walk on a shaded slash sunny side. See, he's gonna take me through these branches again. It's good to teach a horse not to do that. But um, yeah, when they get going along a side that has shade. And sun, uh, they have a hard time discerning whether or not there's a hole in the ground or something. So sometimes it's just easier to sort of ride on a, either a fully shady side or a fully sunny side. So uh, here comes a ve vehicle. Let's see what he does. So far, Benny's been pretty good. Let's see if this guy passes a little wide and slow or not. Fast is wide, but not slow. Then he handles it like a boss. Well, let's see if he wants to kick up to a truck. He does not. No, oh, let's just try one more time. light on his back, he'd do okay. Just need a good pace. Oh, Benny. See, you can tell. When he goes to trot and he helps on the road a little bit, uh, it bothers him. So, just continue to walk. Yeah. Let's see what this car does. Go slow and wide. A little. Now we're coming up on a blind corner, so I'm going to keep Benny to the left here, even though he knows to go right. I don't know how he knows, but he knows. 